Hi, welcome Hi, Jodie. Uh, how are you? Very well, thank you. And you? Good, thank you. So um, for anyone who's just joined us, we are doing a live root cover up. Um, you can see the sorry state of my hair here. Oh, Jodie, you've got some nice bird song in the background there. <laughs> okay. Tweeting away. Yeah, so I'm just going to show you the kit that Jodie sent me. So we had a quick consultation. Um, well, she's done my hair before, so she knows my colour, and I have done the patch test in the salon. Um, but she sent me this great kit here, which you can see. I'm in my kitchen. Um, and so what, you, what I've got is a... Is This is the developer. That's your developer there, yeah. Okay. And I've got my colour. Um, so this is a, a Weller the Weller colour and you sent me a brush which we're going to be doing that with yep. mm -hmm. and gloves and a little protective cape and a cape so now I haven't mixed my colour because I did it too early she sent me enough for two didn't you? I did it too early and it means it may have gone off so I'm going to get my scales and just weigh it out for you so Jodie can you just tell while I'm doing that describe why I'm doing it and what's important about getting this right so it definitely is worth preparing as much as you can before you start to mix your colour. So make sure you're in the right space, um, maybe a bathroom or a kitchen. So if there are any spillages, it's easier yeah, to wipe easy. down surfaces. Um, protect do yourself. I need to wear my, sorry, do I need to wear my gloves while I'm handling um, this? Or like... I mean, you can get them on. Yeah, you may as well. You may as well get them on. Okay. Um, so yeah, make sure you're in the right environment so you don't splash any uh, bad surfaces or fabrics or anything like that that you so want I'm to wearing keep. an old t-shirt an old t-shirt definitely getting, is a must yeah something, something yeah. that you don't really care about if you get color on it or not um and get everything that you need out everything that you need a, a comb to brush your hair through so you don't get any knots when you're going through your hair because it can make it a lot easier okay. well i haven't done that so we'll do that in a bit so i'm measuring out whoops 20 grams of this yeah. whoops 22 okay it's come to 23 so that's fine i have to have equal amounts that's the crucial yeah. thing isn't it so that um, is the crucial thing so i think with measuring at home it can be a little bit difficult because we don't have all the right tools but most people have scales which is really good yeah. and it doesn't actually matter if you're measuring in grams in in milliliters in ounces as long as you keep your uh, mixing ratio correct so one yeah. to one if it's permanent again, color in weller again, or one to two in total, yeah so as long as you keep your mixing ratios uh, the same, you'll be absolutely fine. Whether you measure it in scales, whether you measure it in a measuring jug, um, a lot of people have resulted to using alcohol mixers, um, measurement things, which yeah. is handy. Oh yeah, good idea. So I'm mixing, just stirring this around. Yeah, so give it a good mix. You don't want any lumps. Um, okay. especially if you're mixing two colours. I know you've only got the one there, but if you're mixing two colours, it's really important that you get those colours mixed really, really well um, okay. so that you've got a, a good mixture okay. there. So while I'm doing this, we'll just explain that this is a permanent tint and you yeah. give me a permanent tint because you, we've met, you've seen my yes. hair in real life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I so gave this you is a serv service that you're offering to existing clients is permanent so just tell us what yeah. what you're what what you and other hairdressers are, are offering at uh, Michael Van Clark right now so, so what we're offering is um, color packs um to be sent out so our existing clients we know what their color formulas are so we can send out exactly what they would normally use um with new clients we're doing FaceTime and Zoom uh, consultation calls so that I can speak to you, assess your hair as best as I can over a video call. And then we're sending out colours. We are trying to keep it more to a semi-permanent range, uh, just because there's yeah. less risk with that. Um, if you're doing your hair you're ho at home yourself, and of course, I've not met you before. So the less risk yeah. that we have, the, be the better, really. Um, yeah, so I've got the one that you do for me in the salon. Yeah. But if I was a new client, you would do a semi-permanent tint, which would still last how long? So a, a, lot, a long time. It would still last. And that's the thing. With semi-permanent dyes, even though they say they're semi-permanent, anything that you mix two things with, a colour and a developer, they will remain in your hair for the rest of your hair's life. If something is a temporary colour, it will just be one product that you apply onto your hair and that will wash out completely. But if you're mixing one thing with another, that really is more or less um, a semi-permanent colour, which will last 
just as yeah. much as a permanent color. It's just not as heavy pigmented and it comes with less risks if you are doing your hair at home. Yeah, and also if you want the color corrected afterwards, I think a semi-permanent is much easier to easier. correct. Yeah. And this is so, exactly what we're, we're playing on the air of caution. Um, yeah. going a little bit lighter than perhaps we would would have done in the salon because again to rectify lighter hair is much easier to rectify uh, dark hair if your hair is a little yes. bit darker it's a lot harder to do anything if it's a little bit lighter your existing hairdresser can literally go over that little patch and it will yeah. cover yeah so Ooh, again it eliminates the risks nice <laughs> Okay, so I brush my hair, which I yeah. never do because I've got curly hair. I normally air dry it, so it looks really delightful. But that's important so that I don't get any knots tangled, on the way. Yeah, so um, what do I have to do now? So we need to put a little bit of Vaseline or something that's a little bit oil-based or a sort of balm, something just around your hairline. And we're really focusing on just getting it on your skin and not the baby hairs on your oh, head. Gosh. This is hard. I actually don't have a mirror. I'm just looking at the phone. So ooh, I'm hoping I'm not going to be too cat candid here. So that will just really help um, with staining because if the colour gets on your skin, it will stain. But if you wipe it away um, quick enough before it dries in, you can yeah. remove it without it staining. But this does help a lot with the staining. So there's no yeah. telltale marks. So I think you at home, you're probably doing a much better job than me because I'm looking in a, a tiny... It's um, a lot harder. Yeah, to... I'm just going to get my daughter to get a mirror for me. No Clara. Clara? Also, Victoria's wearing glasses, um, which is another, another situation that you could come across. If you're going to do your hair yourself and you're wearing glasses um, and you cannot see without them properly, a really good tip is to get kitchen foil, wrap the foil around the glass arms, and then you can still wear them at least until you get to the point of the ear. I was just saying right. about your glasses, yeah. Victoria. Yeah. So if, if you were to cover them with um, foil, just to protect the arms of the glasses, um, yeah. it will help you to be able to see Here what you're somebody. doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look. Look at these babies. Here we go. I mean, generally, if the glasses you don't care about um, and they're dark, it's unlikely that they're going to stain. But if, if they're expensive glasses and you do care about them, I would definitely they're dark. cover yeah, them okay. up. Well, I, I made some to show you anyway. Yeah. So brilliant. So that's going to keep your glasses nice and protected and Lovely. enable you to see what you're doing. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to stick my mirror up here in case I need to uh, need to go in and look. There we go. Right, okay, Maybe. what next? So we're going to start in the middle parting. So uh -huh. we're going to part our hair down the middle. So we need your uh, comb for this right, one. Okay. Uh, or you can I... use the back of the tint brush to do that as well if you don't have a comb. You can use the back of the tint brush, the pointed end, to make pass a... pass it down the middle. To part it down the middle, yeah. Okay, I'm looking in my mirror because it's a bit easier. I've yeah. pretty much got a middle parting anyway. And, and these, this is the thing as well. We don't have to worry about definite straight lines. As long as when you're applying the colour, your sections are small enough for the colour to go through, you don't yeah. have to worry about definite straight lines. So then once you've got your yeah. parting there, you're going to go down the side of your head until you reach the top of your ear so like this down the side of my head so reach the top of my ear yeah and then we'll pin that back with a hair clip get that out the way for the moment just got one, one section of hair to deal with yeah. oh, this is so and then tricky. we'll repeat yeah i know it's not easy and then we're going to repeat the same on the other right. side so just okay. until the top next of the ear I'll again have a comb handy next time Okay, oops. So, it's all about actually, you know what, I'm, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm not too bothered about the back of my hair because I can't see it. No. So, but it's, and actually, most of my grey is at the front, so I'm just going to stick a hair. And that's the there. case for most people. And I would recommend yeah. just doing the front. It's, it's really difficult to uh, tint your own head. So, um, oh. if you can do the front, yeah. yeah. Good on you. And then maybe get some, <laughs> maybe, ooh, is, maybe get some help for the back. So, yeah, I think that's all right. I seem to have a lot more hair on this side than the other. But let's give that, let's give that a yeah. go. And generally, and actually, there is, is always one side thicker. This is something that we're all going to probably have to learn to do because hairdressers could potentially be shut for several more months. We just don't know. I mean, it's this definitely it. going to be weeks. And if you're grey like me, it's going to be a few rounds of oh, trying to do it. this yourself. So it's kind of worth 
maybe no. investing a bit of time <laughs> yeah well we're five weeks in and that's typically a, uh, a, a sort of time span for a root tint yeah. so most people are going to find themselves at this stage now yeah due for a root tint yeah. um okay, okay so lovely we've got our two oh, sections here I've got hair in the <laughs> okay <laughs> So that back bit's pinned back, it's yeah. out of our way, we're not going to worry about it, and then we're going to grab our tint. Um, so you've mixed up the colour with your yeah, brush, yeah. Um, just try and make sure that there's not too much colour all around the brush a little, so any of that. <laughs> there's loads. That's great though, because these are the things that are going to happen at okay. home, so it's great that we're covering it. Um, so just okay. give that a little wipe, because then that will stop any of that tint on that brush hitting any bits that you don't want it to hit. Oh. But this it's probably can't go too wrong because this is a quite a light colour, isn't it? That this is that's it, not yeah. really gonna make that ugh. We're trying to eliminate as many risks as we can. So everything that yeah. we can do we'll do. So tension okay. is key. So we're gonna hold down that that first section. I'm gonna tuck that behind my ear just to get it out of the way. So I'm gonna hold what hold down here. So hold down that Am I doing first. am I do we die on this side first? Yeah, so we we'll, we're gonna do the roots on this side first. Okay. Yep. What I would say is a good point. If you have a stubborn area, if you know mm. that your left side is more grey than your right side, yeah. then start on that side first. So wherever you think you've got more grey or more stubborn areas, that is where you would start. Okay. Um, so we'll start on this side. And you do need a good amount of colour on the brush. I'm yeah. using the three more inches pre-wash treatment here just as a demonstration. Um, yeah. So a good amount of colour on the brush but not too much because you can add more colour as you go <laughs> along and it, okay. it keeps it in control. So let's imagine I've got a, an inch of regrowth like yourself and we're just going to dab. So not too much painting going on, more of a dab. So up and down with the brush rather than swooping and swiping. And it's really important that you do keep your hands clean through this process. And if you've got a dark towel to hand, this, you can... This hand clean because I'm yeah, holding my hair. because you're this. holding that hair. So anyone who's got light ends through here, you'll end yeah. up putting colour through those ends and you don't want that. So yeah. make sure you've got a good amount of product. Yep, yeah, I think I have. So I'm so looking in my... Uh, yeah. I'm trying to look in my mirror, which is on top of my microwave. Sorry. Yeah, I think I think that's all right. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So then we're going to take our first section. So from that top of that section, we're going to take about a centimetre section of hair and try and lift that up and over. Yeah, you can straighten that out and then get some more product on your brush. And then we're going to then do the same thing. Repeat again. Dab. Right, so this is my clean side. hand, so I'm going... So dab on that side. So just want, do I, do I dab this side Look, as well? Or? Yeah, so we're going to dab that side as well. I think you need a little bit more product on your brush. Okay. Oh gosh, this is so hard. I think every, everybody will, will do a better job than I am because... I'm really struggling, you're, yeah, well, struggling you're with the mirror into, and the phone. Yeah, but, so, so look at Jodie's technique. And talking working. as well. <laughs> So okay. we've dabbed that side, make sure you've got plenty of product on that side and then you're going to go on to the other side where you flipped it over and just do that side too. Ooh. So both sides are painted and that's going to make sure that you've got plenty of product and that you get maximum coverage. And okay. then we'll just go and take our next section once you've got a good amount of product on Okay, there. so I haven't quite got to the front. We're going to do these little wispy bits. Oh. Yeah, those little baby hairs, try and get in as much as you can in these lines so that you do get a good amount of product on them. But we are oh, going to go over those at the end. Yeah, okay, another centimetre. So another centimetre section oh, working God. down the head. Mine, look, mine goes all kind of wiry. It is, I mean, <laughs> I've been a technician oh, for okay. <laughs> 10 years, so this I know it's... so much harder than it looks. <laughs> but... It's, I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's just practice. I bet next time this I'll be. Well, I hope next time I'll be a bit more clued up. And anyway, it can't be any worse than it was. So again, Start making sure it. you're painting both sides and putting enough product, and keeping those hands clean is so important to keep your hands clean because you just really don't yeah. want to smudge any colour where you don't want to. Um, and speaking of colour, so the reason we're doing. This is permanent, but we're not doing any kind of 
probably, oh my God, I've just seen what I look like. <laughs> we're not doing any, oh, any kind of bleach. Um, you're not offering any kind of bleach highlights. Oh, no. I know you've had lots of requests for that. Can we you tell us a bit about yeah. why while I'm just... So we have had a lot of requests on how to look after your highlights and balayage at home. Unfortunately, it is just not possible. I have balayage on my hair where I just lighten the ends um, and my roots are natural. But I wouldn't even attempt to do my own balayage or highlights at home. It's just not, it's not a good idea. Um, if you can refrain from doing anything like that, 100% recommend that you do not attempt to do anything with lightening or bleaching or highlighting yeah. or balayaging. Um, yeah. It is really only for root tints at this yeah. at this time because it's so just. I, so I have now just got stuff on this glove. So, so dark, do I wipe it, wash it? Dark towel if, or a towel that you don't care about or, or kitchen roll. Just give, yeah, give your hand a little wipe so that you've got no right. okay. colour on there to spread over yourself. Um, yeah. Sorry, you were saying about no worries, but um, no, no bleaching because I've done it again. <laughs> so it's just not it's it's highlights and balayage is probably the most technical part of a colorist job it's yeah. very artistic and it it takes years of training and I really wouldn't even attempt it on my own head let alone yeah. anyone else trying to attempt it on themselves so what you know you can use sprays and powders and things like that um on our uh, Michael Van Clark YouTube channel we've also had our stylist posting really good tutorial videos on how to style your hair um braiding and hair up and things like that just to make yourself feel a little, little bit and that's oh. that is the thing isn't it it makes it's what makes us feel good our hair yeah um yeah. so and we're all in the we're all in the same boat well and this I've is it, it again. <laughs> okay perseverance <laughs> nice. but i know on my hair it's not gonna be too much of a disaster because of no. um you know, Look, we're we just, try and be as clean yeah. as we can yeah. but ultimately so it's yeah. it's not gonna be um, never mind um so um, you were telling me before, and I'm not sure if I'm actually doing this, but you really only want to be covering the bits that are the need colour. I think yeah. I'm a bit heavy handed with, with my colour here. So you um, only want to colour the it. regrowth. Yeah. So just the regrowth we're focusing on. Yeah. Obviously you, you probably will go <laughs> over a little bit of those, um, existing colour, but do try your hardest not to. Um, so they, they, the most important things are try and be as clean as you can, um, try and put as much product as you can without making too much mess, but you need to put enough product, otherwise you're just not going to get the coverage. Um, it needs to have a good amount of product on it and yeah. make sure that you're staying within your lines as much as you can as well. Yeah. Um, oh, that we look fabulous. So. <laughs> oh. Um, so, oh, I haven't done this side, so I'm getting near my glasses now. Oof. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know what to do with this hand because I feel like I have to hold this, but then I'm getting the hand dirty that I'm not supposed to be so getting dirty. You can, so, when you get to those bits, you can, once that bit's over, I know it's difficult because the hair falls down, but that's yeah. it. if you put more product as well, that helps stick it down a little bit more. And then you can hold this bottom okay. section to give you a little bit of tension rather than the top. Um, oh, that on. also, that Ugh. also helps. Gotta get it over my glasses. Ugh. Okay, we'll try it that is, again. It's even it's trickier when you're wearing glasses as well. Yeah. Okay. But again, I, just lots of product. Oh, I've just got it on my kitchen worktop. Oh, oh, oh. Um, and um, so I made the mistake. Um, in case you missed the beginning, I made the mistake earlier of mixing the. So my my product, my jar that I'm using, which is the two, um, the the color and the developer that Jodie sent me in a pack after our kind of consultation where I sent you a photo of what my roots look like. And with some clients you do it um, via FaceTime, don't you? Yeah. Um, so I did the mixing. So in the salon, you, they do the mixing and there's a reason why they do it then and there because it only lasts, what, did you say 40 minutes? And then it starts About to oxidize. Minutes, yeah, so as soon as you mix those two products together, it does start to oxidize. 
Um, yeah. So you don't want to mix it until you're ready to go. So again, preparation is key. You yeah. want to get everything prepped as much as you can before you start applying yeah. um, the root tint. So mix up your colour last. Um, and I definitely should have brushed my hair a bit better. I feel like I would, or maybe maybe washed it. And what's the, what's should this be done on kind of freshly washed hair, old I hair? I think it's I. We always say it's better to put it on dirty hair because you've got natural oils um, build up on your scalp, um, which will then protect your scalp from the colour. So it almost acts like a little bit of a barrier because I don't know, some people probably experience um, a little bit of tingling going on when the colour goes on sometimes. And that yeah. really helps um, keep the the tingling away so i would say dry dirty hair is the best um also because yeah. it helps it's more when, when it's it when it's washed it's really fly away yeah um i've just got a little question down here is oh, it no, always right, yeah. equal amounts of color and developer it really depends on the um on the products that you're using um so they all differ weller permanent colors are mixing ratios one to one but then their color touch which is their semi-permanent is one to two so there will there will always be instructions in whatever color that you buy um and with our color packs we are sending out um included in the packs and in full instructions of how to mix everything so this um, is what i got with my thing i got a yeah. letter um and it says what everything is step one step two exactly what to do how to mix all the kinds of allergy patch patch test if you are not a regular client or you haven't been in for what six months or so yeah I, th I think it's always a good idea to do a skin test because yeah. if you do a tiny skin test and they come up in a in a red bump oh. imagine what that would do to your scalp if you put it all over yeah so i would always recommend that you do do a skin test um so is that side yeah. all done yeah okay great so well i'm not going to do but uh, both sides in this live because you'll all get really bored and you can see how cat candid i am but that it is possible i feel like a new romantic now you know <laughs> remember when they just have one, one side so on, that, and... on that side where you've got it all now yeah. all you want to do now is just go over that hairline just that way just to make sure you've got all those little baby hairs in. yeah so here yeah here. yeah right so all around your hairline i'll do it with my mirror here ooh. i'm gonna have to, ooh, the light okay all right i got it so i've got some in case you missed the beginning, I put some um, balm, some kind of oily balm on my hairline. Like, and that's that's normal in salons, isn't it? Sometimes you get that or maybe we, you guys yeah. you guys are kind of expert in not getting it on all heads. We do still in the salon use a um, skin protector. It's designed for the purpose, but we do use it just in case because some people's skin just naturally really um, absorb the colour. Um, and also when you're washing this off, a really good tip is before you wash it off completely, wet your hairline. And if you really um, rub around your hairline, small circles yeah. with some water, it just loosens the color and emulsifies the color and color removes color on the skin. So just loosen the color around the hairline and rub it in and that will really reduce the staining as well. Um, so just, just manually or with, with shampoo or? Just with your fingertips. Okay. So literally with your fingertips, give yourself a small head massage in small circles Ooh. all around your hairline. Um, and that will just help with the staining. So okay. that's a good one. And then just rinse really well until your water runs clear. Two shampoos, conditioner, um, and then you're good to go. Yeah. Once you've applied the colour, you can always put treatment on your ends, like a pre-wash treatment, which is always nice. Yeah, that's um, a good idea. Yeah. Something to protect and do you color. need to wear gloves to wash out the colour? Yes. Yeah, so in the pack okay. you get two sent two packets uh, of gloves. I do have two packs of gloves. So yes. you'll be able to use yeah. your other pair of gloves to wash that out. Also, a really nice thing as well, if you want to refresh your ends, but I would get advice on it. Um, yeah. You can wet your ends down and emulsify and pull all the colour through to those wet ends, and that would just refresh the colour on the ends. Yeah. Just for the last five minutes, no more than five yeah. minutes. But for people yeah. like dark, rich brunettes, that works really well as a refreshing technique, and that's what we do in the yeah. salon. And that's um, if if somebody wanted that, then you talk them through that. Um, if, probably one to one. So we've got a question: What about if you have highlights? What if you? I think that question might be. We said that obviously we can't uh, doing highlights remotely isn't isn't advisable or possible. But what happens mm. if you have highlights and you'd want to cover? So say my hair was I don't have highlights, but it was 
highlighted as well as with grey roots how would that work if you've got highlights and grey roots it is a little bit trickier because you need to be extra careful not to apply any of that color other than on your regrowth because if you hit your highlights that's going to be um it will darken cover it. your highlight it will darken your highlights and cover that over so yeah. i think if you've got highlights perhaps the key is to make uh leave your roots maybe for six to eight weeks so your roots yeah. are bigger so then it's a lot easier for you to apply because the smaller your roots are the harder it's going to be i would say at least four weeks definitely at least four yeah. weeks before yeah. you attempt to do a root tint um that is definite and we've got a question what is a pre-wash treatment i don't I haven't got mine here you've, you've so got yours here, i've got mine you? here so this is um michael van clark's lifesaver pre-wash treatment so it's a treatment that you pop in your hair before you wash it so i would say at least an hour before you wash it um i tend to leave mine overnight um and it's a fantastic treatment and just keeping your hair healthy um and keeping those ends as healthy as they can so as our hair gets actually, you know, as soon as your hair's out of your scalp, it's dead. Yeah. So we have to do the yeah. best we can in keeping it nourished and conditioned and keep it hydrated. Yeah. Um, this is a protein uh, based shirt. While you're talking, I'm going to do the other side of my hair while yes, we still go got for questions. It. Otherwise, I'm going to have a lopsided head. No so, worries. So let's just, if you, we've got a question from Ophelia. Um, she has foils at home. And now I know Ophelia, she's got lovely blonde highlighted hair and I'm pretty sure she's hardly got any grey yeah um can she use foils at home I'm afraid not I'm afraid not it's just not it's not advisable um it's definitely the most technical part of a colorist job um it takes years and years of experience to to master and you more than likely you're going to have to use bleach or a lightning um product which is just a no-no if you don't put it on correctly if you don't put enough yeah. on you're going to end up all patchy it really is um yeah such a technical thing i just really would not i think yeah. if you're blonde your... or you've got highlights just no yeah. do yeah. some nice hair up and some nice braids <laughs> yeah so i hope, hope that answers your question ophelia she says she hasn't done it thankfully um yeah thank you. um what root touch products you recommend? We'll talk about that in a sec. Thanks, yeah. Sophia. Um, but just tell me how I switched to the other side. Right. So now you need to, with the with the back of your comb, um, just yeah. carefully move all that hair over, so you return to your middle parting. Okay. Ooh. Right. I'm gonna have to do this in the mirror. Yeah. It's a little bit yeah. fiddly because now you've got some wet hair with the product and some dry. Oh. So oh just flip it oh. back over. Yeah. Okay. As best you can. So what root touch-up products do you recommend? So um, the one that I tend to hear the most that clients use is Wow. So Colour Wow yeah. is quite a popular one. Um, I think Bumble and Bumble do a really good spray uh, spray on. I think a lot of clients say that sprays are easier. I um, like sprays. I like the L'Oreal one. It's in a kind of green yes. green pot. That's also a very good one. It's got a really tiny nozzle and you can just do your... It's a lot easier to yeah. apply. Yeah, but so I know Ophelia's probably looking for one that looks like highlights rather than covers up grey. Yeah, I mean, it's that's another thing as well. It's just, it's such a, you just really can't create that at home. Um, yeah. You can get some powders that are lighter. Like, I know Wow do blonde powders, so they can help to, you know, reduce the contrast between your roots and ends. But yeah. honestly, it's it's really difficult to get any sort of effect like that from from home products. Um, unfortunately, highlights and balayage, it really just there isn't really anything yeah. that you can and do. I find with Wow, their products, like Phil is saying, it makes you, it makes your scalp really cloggy, and I hate my yeah. hate the feeling of. Although it's great, it, they're really really effective, and I kind of powder eyeshadow. So I'm just doing what I did on the other side. You have to tell me yeah. if I'm, I'm doing it right. Um, but um, just make sure you're if, using plenty of product. Yes, I think I am. So what 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 about then if you have blonde hair? Oh, oh no! <laughs> if you so, I'm gonna have to. Oh, I just want to jump out. through the phone and say. Oh, I know. You. you just want to save me for myself. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, oh. never mind. You're um, doing a great job. <laughs> um, but maybe would you would you advise maybe going a bit darker if you're um if you're blonde maybe a darker wash to to so that the the gap you know the contrast between the highlights and the and i the, do know what you mean um and the rest of the hair is that it, comes with that comes with a lot more complications unfortunately because if your hair's blonde um you've removed the pigment from your hair so then putting the pigment back in 
it's a real color corrective technique and I would not advise it at home. Um, what you could do is use, so like uh, Davines do really good color shampoos. Yeah. Um, so they do like a silver shampoo, a chocolate shampoo, a golden shampoo. So you could use like the golden shampoo on a blonde. So it looks less, you know, not as bright and it might yeah. just yeah. help with that contrast a little bit. So anything like that, you really have to go with things that are just temporary. Yeah. Because and the thing is Leonor want... Grail do a great color corrector as well. Yeah. Um, it's a it's a natural it just deposits pigment in the hair but I really like that especially for you know when when your color starts to fade and it goes all a bit kind of like this really yeah um, but I've run out it. yeah it's that one's really good and it's it's all natural the good thing is as well it's temporary so you're not going to be jeopardizing any of your hairdressers um work oh, right. whilst you're doing that at home yeah. and that's the most important thing um yeah. oh now, I've got too much hair in my clip, so ugh, I'm struggling a bit here. So we've been asked, what about the colour wash from Josh Wood, which I think is the gloss. I'm pretty sure that's that's got some semi-permanent in, I think. Yeah, that one. Those, I think that's... Those, those glosses, I'm pretty sure that they are, um, again, a little bit more than a temporary. Oh, so yeah. you'd have to get some advice um, on that product. Yeah, but I think I'm... that they have quite a good customer services. You could, you could They ask. do. They have a they have very good um, consultation call to, uh, tools and things like that on their products. Um, so that would be one to look into for that. But, um... Oh my god, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is so so even even the this bit getting the parting bit here right is really crucial. And now I'm struggling because I've got because too much really hair here, there. and I can see yeah. that now. So it's, the setup is really really key. I can see. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think. I think it's just like anything, isn't it? If you want a, a cake to go really well, you need to get all your ingredients oh out, God. weighed out, yeah, portioned out first before you even turn yeah. that oven on. I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay. Have we got any more questions for Jodie before you see me uh, making a total mess of this? Uh, what about? Oh yeah, hair gloss for Josh Wood. Any more questions about how to do your colour at home? So I'm just gonna put that, get that back a bit. Also, I think um, if anybody is interested in having a colour consultation, it is something that we are offering. Oh, um, thank you, Fiona. I'm <laughs> doing brilliantly. <laughs> oh. So you can get in contact with us um, uh, through our Instagram page or um, email us, um, salon at vanclark.com. Um, and I'm more than happy to do a consultation with you via either over email and photos, some people prefer, or it is a lot easier if we can do FaceTime and I can actually see your hair in different lights and we can have a good chat about it. Um, and then we can get a colour pack sent out to you. Yeah, it's really, and it arrived really quickly. It arrived like in a couple of days. So if you're yeah. desperate, never fear. You just might need to factor in, if you're not a client already, you yeah. might need to factor in 48 hours for the patch test, right? Oh my God. Yeah. I have a new, renewed respect for hair colourists now. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> yeah, all my clients have gave me lovely um, comments. <laughs> Do they all look like this? But how many requests have you had for colour? What have people been saying? Well, we've had a lot. We've had, we've had over 200 inquiries um, and probably sent oh, out about terrible. 100 colour packs in yeah. total. Um, it, it, there is a lot of people that need um, advice and help. Also, you know, in this time, even though we're not going out and seeing anybody, when your roots suffer through and you've got, you know, a grey badger line or, you know, you just don't feel yourself. And it's such a pick me up to have oh. your hair done. I think and an actual badger do, on my head would be an improvement. <laughs> so what's going on right now? Okay. However, I think I don't encourage to do it unless you're absolutely needing to do it. Because I think, you know, you'll have more fun painting the garden shed than you would your hair. So yeah. unless yeah. you're absolutely in need, I wouldn't. Yeah, and you can see I am quite in need. And I can see the splodges on my uh, ugh, kitchen worktop, which is starting to turn brown. So yeah. <laughs> how do you get Definitely. it off the surface? If, you, if, you know, if you've made a mess. If you do you... get it on surfaces, I think probably the best thing that you can use at home is perhaps maybe um, acetone, like um, varnish yeah. remover, uh, makeup remover. A lot of people have been using makeup remover to remove stains from their skin. And also oh, yeah, a really yeah. weird one is cow's milk works really well. Oh, does it? Um, okay. so. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my God, so I've nearly done. So please, there's a, is there another question. Thank you, Jodie. I'm booked in with you for a full head of highlights and extensions. Oh okay, yes, well, let's... Victoria, I can't wait. <laughs> so I hope that's soon. I mean, we've no idea when this, yeah. when this will be, but you know, I really lots, hope you know, we, we, we love going to see our hairdressers and colorists, you know, for a catch up and a chat. And you know, it, you're gonna be so inundated when lockdown finishes, but I think it's actually, you know, learning a few skills like this or just how to, you know, how to deal with your hair differently. You know, maybe as you say, put it in a different style or, you know, now's the time to learn all those things. Yeah, right, I'm gonna take my glasses off. Get so, creative. Uh, okay, so I'm actually nearly done. So why don't we just finish off this last embarrassing bit here? <laughs> And then, so, so when I've done this, in the salon, I'd go under heat. So what happens, yeah. what happens now? Ugh. So although you go under the heat in the salon, it's not essential. Um, more or less, that just speeds up uh, the development time. So under heat, you may go under for 20 to 25 minutes. Um, but because we don't have heaters at home, it's a little bit of a longer development time. So you're looking between 30 and 40 minutes. We are saying yes. about 40 minutes because for grey hair, that is about the time that you would need to develop it for at home without heat. But you do have to bear in mind how long it's taken you. I mean, you've done it fairly quick, even though we've been videoing. Um, I know some clients that I've had FaceTime calls have taken about an hour. So we have to factor yeah. that in because the bit that you started on first, that has started already to work and it's been yeah. on for an hour. So that's why you said do the most grey side first. This is it, yeah. Most, so it gets yeah. the most development time and yeah. if anything, if it does stay on longer, then at least it's on the most stubborn bit first. Yeah. So I've um, got, I've got like that, that much left. Yeah. Oh, so it's getting my eyes bit. What, can I do anything with it? The only thing that you could do with it, again, if you wanted to refresh your ends, you could save that until you wash your hair, wet your ends, and then just put that through your ends. So that as a refreshing technique, again, only for five minutes. You don't want to leave it on for more than five minutes. So wash it. So I've washed it out. Yeah. No, just damp the ends down. So don't wash, don't so, wash it. Just damp the ends down. Yeah. With water. So tip your so head five, over the bar. Five, yeah. Okay. Uh, put yeah. lots of water on it squeeze the water out and then scoop that out put it all over the hair yeah. five minutes and then wash okay great and apparently face oils can remove stains on the face thank That's you um, good tip yeah and can you use a plastic bag in a hair dryer i would not recommend that no because with um heat at, in the salon it's an evenly distributed heat <laughs> that goes around the hair um and it's very different to using a hair dryer it's probably hair dryer heat's probably a lot hotter and you'll probably find yourself using it in one area more than another because it's more comfortable for your arm i would oh, recommend yeah. it um you can cover it with a plastic bag but i mean we've been blessed with the weather and it's so warm yeah it's you know i there's really no need and how do i know if it's done i mean you can see here it's starting to go you can see it, yeah. the colors yeah whereas here it's still got the white and Colour. that's another thing as well. Um, don't panic if you start to see things change because like the tube of colour that I've got here is Illumina by Weller and their colours are violet based. So when they start to dry, they almost look a little bit purpley. Okay. So you might panic and think, oh my God, why is my hair looking purple? But it's just where the pigment in the colour is taking place. Your hair will not be purple. Um, to do a little test, if you're not sure if it's taken, you can literally get the back of your tint brush and scrape the hair after 40 minutes scrape it back and you can actually see whether that gray hair is covered or not okay so you can see, you'll be looking at the actual hair underneath yeah that bit on so there. you can see that yeah um so that's a, a good little technique to, to use if you're okay. wanting to check if it's but now i have taken. to go away and sit inside outside does it matter for um i wouldn't sit in direct sunlight no okay i wouldn't sit in direct sunlight Stay in or sit in the shade. You can go outside, but just don't sit in the sun. Because again, it can cause uneven development. Cooking times. You're just yeah. like a cake now. You need to cook perfectly. Yeah. So given that I started putting on half an hour ago and took my time. That's fine. How Should I wait? So I'd leave, I would leave it 40 so minutes. I would leave it 40, 40 minutes. minutes from that, from so now. Okay. generally we take about half an hour to apply a tint in the salon. 25 to 30 minutes. And yeah. then we leave it for the full development. So 40 minutes, I'd leave it. Set a timer so you don't forget. Yes, um, oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you'll be ready to go. Amazing, thank you. Thank you so much. So Pleasure. I'll have to post an after picture. Yeah. Let you know how I go. And there's enough in my 
um, pot probably for one more, but you generally send out enough for like at least two, don't you? At least two, yeah. yeah. Um, and just to clear up something, if there is anything left in your pot, other than using it to refresh your ends for those last five minutes, unfortunately, whatever's left in there, you cannot use again. So you can't yeah. save it and use it for the next one. It will be dead. Right. And um, I think it said in my instructions, don't use metal. Like no metal bowls, no metal spoons. So I mean, yes, plastic. very good point. No metal bowls and no metal spoons, anything like that, because it, the colour can react with the metal. So plastic yeah. bowls, china bowls, um, things like that. Yeah, I can't wait to see you back in the salon, Jodie. Um... Hi, Holly and Rosie. <laughs> I can't wait. To, we're going to get emotional oh, when we God, start talking we about it. <laughs> no, well, thank you so much. Um, and I Pleasure. look forward to seeing my great reveal well i don't know i'm a bit nervous but um, um i'll <laughs> be, be posting fun. my i'll be posting my after picture and you know if it hasn't taken very well i can do the next one soon can i if you know if i in three weeks or is it do i have to leave it a certain time i would say if you need to go over a certain patch which really hasn't taken yeah. you can do that almost immediately but if it's quite sporadic, I would say no, because again, colour over colour always goes darker. So you don't want to then okay. put another set of colour on it and then it goes darker. So if there's one patch that really hasn't taken at all, you can go back in and reapply. But otherwise, mm. I would say no. Yeah, and wait, wait like three or at least four weeks so you've got a good... A good amount of regrowth. Chunk again. of regrowth so you can actually yeah. see what you're doing, especially importantly if you have got highlights and you don't want to be painting over your highlights yeah that's okay. exactly lovely it. thank you amazing well let's see let's see if um how well i've done thank you so much and if you <laughs> My want pleasure. to if you want to have your um roots uh, and your uh, your color done with jodie or uh, michael van clark salon you message you at the uh, michael van clark instagram or on email on this, this um on email as well yeah, yeah. And, and the cost how much does it cost as well so the packs are 35 pounds so you get one tube of color with your gloves developer and your brush and protective yeah. tape and um, so that's for one tube and then it's 6.99 post and packaging and then if you want two tubes it's 45 pounds and then it's unlikely that you'll have three but if you do yeah. have three it's an extra 10 pounds so for 50 quid you can get a couple of colors definitely yeah, yeah. amazing yeah. amazing yeah. i think more yeah. doing that. thank um, you so also, much if, oh. no worries if, if nobody has uh, if anybody has not seen the youtube videos um on our youtube channel we've got lots of helpful um videos i've done one um diana at salon's also done one and a lot of the stylists have done again hair up tutorials braids and things like that so Brilliant. lots of helpful tips Thank you so much. Have a good day, everyone. Pleasure. And see you on the other side. Yes, Bye. see you soon. Take care. Bye.